Okay, welcome everybody to this week's update, which will be featuring three heroes. Yes, it's been a long time since we you know, got three heroes. Actually, in 2012, we have not uh, gotten you know three heroes in one update, so that's kind of amazing. There's one downside to this, and that's the that's definitely the most important thing to say. Uh, this will be, you know, the three heroes will be in a desk line for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Probably Monday, Ice Rock is saying actually that uh, those three heroes will be released to the normal client. So I'm gonna play these heroes Monday. So first of all, or first one of them will be Gyrocopter. I'm gonna level him up a little bit, as always. And I'm gonna send the courier for one certain item that is right here. By the way, two of these heroes were almost done. Actually, the spells and everything the effects that were done in like early 2012. So it's been a long time waiting for these heroes actually. Only the skins and you know how they look that was kind of missing. Alright. And I'm gonna get the Aghanim of course. And I'm gonna show you what the Aghanim actually does. So first of all, Gyrocopter. Agility hero, it could be seen as you know uh, intelligence because he's got a lot of spells but he's agility hero He's not support hero, I'm gonna say it first here. He's definitely not support hero, so you have to be definitely careful about you know people saying, oh buy chicken, buy that, don't do it. He is good as a carry. Or semi-carry. As you can see, he's got a little plane there. <laughs> looks pretty amazing, I like the colors, it's a little different, you know, usually in the beginnings of Dota, everything looked uh, like a bluish, you know, purple blue. Right now they are definitely improving that. Okay, we get our eye again. So, the game is starting. Alright, so first of all, let's go with the Q, which is the oh, rocket barrage. Or barrage. Launches a salve of rockets at nearby enemies, units in a radius around the gyrocopter, and it lasts 3 seconds. So right now if I cast it here, as you can see, there's a sound effect that's very nice, it wasn't there previously. But if I cast it around units, the radius is very small, but very effective in the you know in the end. That's what it does. It's kind of a hunting spell if you think about that. Very low cooldown, you can kind of spam it in, in the future. Very nice sounds. Very like a mechanic sound, which is definitely what you want from Gyrocopter. So this is usually when somebody's hunting you or you're hunting somebody. You can even like running away, you can use it correctly like this. You're damaging still uh, when you're running away. The next spell is a homing missile. This spell you can disable or enemy can disable this. There's no by the way area that's kind of bug. Uh, enemy can disable this just by hitting the rocket three times. Anybody like just the heroes, not no no creeps. Creeps cannot hit this. Y they need to hit it three times and it's cancelled the or is destroyed the missile. But it's not even possible to do it at early levels. It's charging and now it's actually, it looks like huge nuke. And more it travels, I think so at least, the more damage it does. Greater damage and a longer stun, the farther it has traveled. So if their guy is running away from it, like here, it does so much damage and so much stun that usually the tactic against this is to run here. Like towards the Gyrocopter, if you're you know, along with him. Which can actually lead to something bad, because you know he can follow it up with this shit. And you will be definitely screwed. By the way, very nice effects. I have to like I have to say I'm very much liking these mechanic effects, you know, like this. <laughs> kind of awesome. Alright, the first spell, which is the E, is a flag cannon. Which usually, you know, as a you know anti-air mean again, you know, at wars it's anti-air basically, which does one thing: you will hit every single target with the flag cannon. It will basically change your attack, as you can see, to like a you'll be hitting every single target, as you can see. It doesn't seem that good, it, like you know, it's very good, but it doesn't seem that awesome. But you have to keep in mind this hero is agility hero. So if you build him on a Manta, on a BKB, and you have activated uh, these things, the, 
the clay cannon, the rockets and everything. It does so much damage and to area. So you know, in a team fight it's awesome. So that's what the flag cannon does. Attacking the units in the area, heroes, everything in that area. And of course there's a uh, max attacks is free, four, five, six. Of course, by leveling the spell up, you are you are getting more attacks, more basically attacks like uh, more units you are hitting at once. The ulti. So without the agony, the ulti is target, as you can see the area like this, and its area effect. Two rockets are flying, first one, slowing the enemy down, and missile one damage, two fifty, missile two damage, hundred. So the first missile is more the damage one, it slows a little bit, the second mi missile is less damage but more slow. You want usually both rockets to hit, that is the best scenario. All right. With the Aghanim, which is the upgrade for the ultimate, is the thing that you can cast it globally, meaning at any point on a map you can cast the ulti. So right here, as you can see. At any point of a man on the map, 60 seconds cooldown, it's a 45 on level, on level 16, which is pretty decent, but... So so any point on the map, you can click it if you have Aghanim, and it will uh, be there. The problem that I have with the Aghanim build is that if you have, you know, if you have to cast it here, and there's a team fight, you are not there, you are losing as a Gyrocopter, you are not really doing your role. Because you kind of can understand, like, you have all the area effect spells, the flag cannon, the rockets, the stun. That you almost need to be in a team fight, you know what I mean? To be effective as much as you can. It's not about the ulti. The ulti is advantage in a team fight, absolutely, but you need to be in a team fight for the rockets, for the flag cannon, and even for the stun, this one. So that was the gyrocopter. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the effects, the mechanical sounds and everything. Pretty, pretty cool. As I said, Usually, he's built on agility, BKB is core, I think, and he's definitely not support. So don't be fooled by people saying that you are support, you are not, you are an agility hero. You can go even Lotars, you can go BKB, definitely works perfectly. As I said, Aghanim I wouldn't recommend, because you need to be in team fights, not outside of them, just with the ulti. So fast watching, two more heroes are coming.